Hello and welcome to Planet 40K, doing something a little bit different today, as you probably guessed from the title. So we're going to be doing a Space Marine tier list. So we're discussing the troop selection. So we do have Aaron here today with us, which is a special guest for our tier list, who's actually one of our patrons from our Patreon service. So if you've yet to check that out, pause the video, click the link at the top right of the screen. We've got a range of tiers, which mainly unlocks the polls to vote for our next video to do for the reviews. Then there's also early access, and of course you can get your name at the end of the credits. So Aaron, how's it going? Uh, good, thank you. How are you? Yeah, all good, all good. So do you want to let anybody, do you want to let everybody know about your 40k experiences? What, what sort of armies you play? What do you do? So recently got into 40k. Never played any of edition, uh, ninth edition. Uh, started off dabbling in uh, Drakari. Mm -hmm. uh, converted over to Marines for a little bit. Dabbled in a little bit of Marines. Um, played the majority of my games as Marines. Uh, lost most of them. Um, um, and now I'm kind of dabbling in demons, which I love, love the demons. All, all those bloodthirsters you like, don't you? Yeah, I like the big guys. I yeah, like the big guys. Cool, cool. Any any future plans to expand into a new faction, or are you, you going to go with those demons? I think I'm going with the demons. I think I think I'm going to stick with corn, and then maybe add in uh, a bit of slanesh. Slanesh. I like them. I like them. Keeper of secrets. You can maybe buy some of my models. I'm, I'm, I've got a bit of slanesh army going. <laughs> Cool, cool. So you know what we're doing? Yeah, we're doing a tier list for troops. We have a, we should already have it on the screen actually, which is the tier maker. And yeah, so should we just get stuck right in? Wow. I'll, I'll hand over the first one to you, which will be the, the uh, which will be the intercessors, if I get my words out. No problem, the intercessors, right. So standard movement is six inches. Yeah. Weapon skill three, ballistic skill three, strength four, Toughness four, wounds two, attacks two with an additional attack on the sergeant, leadership seven and an additional leadership on the sergeant as well with a standard free up save. Yep. Um, let's get this here. Uh, and then they have a auto bolt rifle, which is an assault three, 24 yeah. inches. I love that which weapon, nice. yeah, that's cool. That's and they've got uh, pistols as well. Uh, and I believe that I believe the intercessors you can have the um, option to change uh, the unit's weapon to a bolt rifle, which mm -hmm. is quite nice actually. Uh, even though it's only rapid fire one at thirty inches, it's got that minus one AP for one damage. Yeah. I've never actually used a bolt rifle. I've never used it. Um, I've always gone for this the, the uh, auto bolt rifle. More shots. Yeah. Just love more shots. More shots. Dice. Yeah. Yeah, then there's the Stalker Bolt Rifle, which is a heavy steel strength four minus two AP uh, for two damage. So, I mean, if you're starting off starting off in the first uh, Devastated Doctrine, it will be a minus three AP for two damage. But it's strength four. So I think that I, I don't think you would go with the Stalker Bolt Rifle. I mean, may, maybe you might do, depending on what faction you play. It's just, it's just for that damage, isn't it? If you're going against Marines, damage two is quite nice. Yeah, I th uh, my personal favorite would be the Bolt Rifle. Rapid fire and yeah. the um, the minus one. You've always got that minus one. And that range as well. The range is 30 inch. Which... Yeah, exactly, which is quite nice. The bolt of discipline in there, it's nice. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, where, where are you thinking, just going off the bat here, where do you think they're going to go in this tier list? I mean, I'm presuming everybody knows what these letters mean. <laughs> so... Yeah, I don't have to explain that. We normally put like it, a little bit of a description in there, but I've not bothered this time since it's, it's caused a few issues in the past. I mean, they're, they're power level five, um, depending yeah. on what people play. Uh, points, they're 100. Mm -hmm. uh, the combat squad is nice if you want to take 10 and split to save on the detachment uh, slots. Slots, yeah. I'm, I'm, hmm. <clears throat> I'm thinking A or B. I'm thinking A or B. A or B. Oh, wow. See, I've got, yeah. I've got my little notes here, and I've, I've shot really high. <laughs> I've shot really high. I've gone for the top. You reckon they're an S? I, I think they're, like, between S and A. I think they're, like, good. We're talking about troops here. We're not talking about, like, heavy or elite. We're talking about the standard. This is troops. Yeah. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, 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 I'm with you on that. I'm with you on that. I mean, what, what, what lets them... What lets them down, in my opinion, is they yeah. have that attacks, but they don't have a combat weapon for if they get charged. Um, no. I mean, you can give you can give the sergeant a chainsword or a power sword, but apart from that, 
So uh, the reason why I, I think they're uh, slightly lower than an S, like an A and B, is because of the non-combat weapons. I mean, the sergeant can have a weapon. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, it says here he can have uh, a chainsword, power sword. It can be written on the following uh, power fist, power sword, or a thunder hammer. I mean, that's just on the sergeant. Yeah. Uh, uh, the red, the rest of the guys, they don't get anything. It'll be improvised uh, weapon. So I think that's what let's may let them down. Um, that's why I, I probably wouldn't put them in the top. But that's that's just my opinion. Okay, I'm thinking the battlefield role is just troops. They're not really there to do much other than survive on an objective, I suppose, because they've got objectives secured. Um, yep. They can shoot a fair, a fair bit. Probably the best, um, one of the best shooty options in the troop section. I mean, you've got heavy incisors, but we'll go over that in a bit. Um, yeah, yeah. The lack of combat is, they've still got a lot of attacks though, and it's just front four. So when you're talking with shock assault as well, giving them all three attacks each, and if you've got like a 10 man unit, that's, that's a lot of attacks, isn't it? So. 30 attacks, 31 actually with a sergeant, and that's without even including any sort of chapter tactics. No, yeah, that's true. That's true. It's just it's just that because the improvised weapon doesn't have a minus to AP as well, so it's just like a zero AP. So you might get a few off. Um, <clears throat> so you, there's, there's... you had B in there. I, I said between A and B, yeah. Um, and you're saying S and A, so I think... So it's got to go in A, but I'm, I'm now yeah, concerned we... about the rest of them, <laughs> because if you... Because <laughs> you, you just S'd everything, like, yes. No, are... no, no, on your, what you think. If, if the ones I think are probably the best ones you put as a potential B, then... Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's just, again, it's just my opinion. It doesn't mean I'm correct or gospel. No, just same, same just, as me, and I, I get I get a bit of stick sometimes, but it is just opinion at the end of the day. Yes. And, and play style as well, like you mentioned. Exactly. Um, it all depends on how you play and what faction. Definitely, you definitely with the chapters, because they've all they've all got their own unique flavours, like Space Wolves, for example. They yeah. they get another uh, they get a plus one to hit, sorry, which is you know, hitting on twos with that 31 attacks makes a bit of a difference to it. Yes, yeah. So yeah, so we're happy with A for now? I'm happy with A for now. Yeah. I mean, we can make it later on, depending on uh, yeah, we'll, think we'll, of the answers, I suppose. We'll have, a, we we'll have a jiggle when we, um, we'll have a jumble up when we get through it. So Assault Intercessors next then. So they're basically the same stat line, aren't they? So double checking, I'm pretty sure they're the same stat line. And um, they've only got the heavy bolt pistol, which is only 18 inch range, pistol one, strength four, but it does have minus one AP. Um, and they come with installed his chainsaw, which is also minus one AP and gives you an additional attack per man. So with shock assault, you're now getting four attacks a man instead of three, which would be 41. The 10 man unit would have 41, including the sergeant. But this time, like I said, minus one AP, which makes a bit of a difference, but less shooting, more, more combat. And the sergeant can have a hand flamer or a plasma pistol and either a power fist, a power sword, or a thunder hammer. So same sort of options as the previous one, wasn't it? So could he have yeah. a thunder hammer? Yeah, good. So it's the same options for the sergeant, really. Uh, you can also combat squad them again, same as before. So, yeah, the only real difference is not as much with the shooting stuff, but they can combat more. So um, for me, what they're, do you reckon, like, then? they're I don't think they're as good because... If you're on, say, a home objective, these guys are not really any good. They're not going to be defending it with their range weapons, for starters. They're not going to get really any range, unless there's some sort of alpha deep strike unit coming in or strategic reserves in, like, turns, you know, two, three onwards. Yeah, yeah. Um, if, if they're within 18-inch range, then, yeah, they are going to get one, one pistol shot each, which can be shot in combat as well. That is a plus. But... Yeah. I sort of rate them sort of where you rated the intercessors. It's sort of A and B. I don't rate them as highly. I don't rate them as highly. I will. I will say this about them though. I I, I feel they're not a uh, a unit you put you sit on an objective. 
Yeah, they're, I don't think they are, yeah. They're, they're what I would call a sacrificial unit. Get yeah. them in a vehicle. Get them in a vehicle yeah. and get them up the board quick. Um, to, again, it all depends on chapters and things like that, but you get in, get the charge off, get attacks and tie up a key unit pretty quickly. Okay. Tie up a key unit, one of their, one of your opponent's key units with these guys, and you can do your other things, what you want to do, because you control the board. I can understand why people would take them. Um, I wouldn't say they're a defensive no. unit either. There's something that you would go gung ho with, in my in my opinion. You'd go gung ho, get them in at the board quick, tie up a unit, maybe wipe a unit, a weak unit out, and yeah, that, that's a problem for me though because. A unit going gung ho to me isn't a troop unit. I'd look towards exactly the, the fast attack exactly. or the elite like terminators again or some sort exactly. of fast attack outriders, something that will bomb up, spray some shots, then get into combat. So hundred percent, hundred percent agree. With you. I have a that's why I think that's why I think these fail because I hundred percent agree with you. Unless it's you... a counter, like, like I was originally saying, like a counter. Um, if they if they you've got your guys got your enemy coming on you in like turn two onwards, you can counter strike them then possibly, but I just don't know. Really you'd, 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 you'd have like you say fast attacks, guys from fast attacks and elite units doing much a much better job yes. and better survivability than what these can do. Mm -hmm. Now I get that they're a cheaper option. So again, it goes on to <coughs> play style on what you want. For so me. It's only a point though. It's only one point cheaper. Uh, what power level wise or? Uh, sorry, no, no, just point points wise. Power level are the and, same. Yeah, power level the same. They're ninety points, are they? Yeah, nineteen points. So for a ten man unit, you're only saving ten, aren't you? Yeah. So uh, I just don't. I just don't. I, I would have to play. I, I'd have to play them to see how they how they run. But I. I probably wouldn't pick them, and I would probably be the same as you, B or C personally. I wouldn't put them as an A. I think that's where they fail as a troop unit. Did because... I say A or B? I'm sorry, that, that was actually a mistake. I meant B or C, not A. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be interesting. Yeah, yeah. B, B yeah. or C. Yeah, um, sorry, that was. A... I'd put them low down, but I don't. I don't think they'd go. They're sort of in the middle. I don't think C's. I think C's too far down. I'm happy to put them in the B because they're they're a cheap they're a nice cheap unit. Like I say, they're you can you, they're expendable. But it, the, the, that's what I mean. The issue is they're objective secured, so you kind of want to keep them. So it's catch twenty two with these guys. Yeah, M middle ground objectives they can maybe get onto, but yeah, that, that's probably their real purpose is the middle ground objective. Get onto it, stay there, try and defend it a little bit in combat while waiting for your you know foot slogging intercessors coming up. But yeah, it's it's not like they're quicker because they're an assault incessor squad. They're, they're still six inch movement. So, so you're thinking B, yeah? You're thinking going in the B. Yeah, I think. Yeah, for now. For now, uh, they're, they're definitely below with the incessors, aren't they? That's sure. hundred percent. It's just how low should we be? Hundred percent. Yeah. Okay. And again, and again, I would assume. People in the comments will be going, oh, I'd, I mean, they should let us know their experience if they've used oh, them. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100% do that because I I personally wouldn't pick them. And I've played a, I've played Raven Guard. I wouldn't pick them. I'd, I'd, pick, I'd, I'd just pick other units as the troops, personally. So but I think Raven, it, Raven Guard are more sort of hide away, stay back kind of guys anyway. So you wouldn't pick them. Whereas, again, if you're Space Wolves, Blood Angels, Black Templar, you'd be not as fearful and you'd be running up there. Yeah, yeah. So, um, but yeah, still, not, still a bit. Yeah, yeah. I think if they had an eight inch movement, it's just like it, they, there's no way they're going to, are they? It's not, no. They're just, I think that's, they're just troops at the end yeah. of the day. Cool. Yeah. So, heavy incestors, you want to go with that one? Uh, I can I can roll with these. Go on then. I'm sure if, you like these. If, if you're not picking the heavy intercessors, you're a fool. <laughs> You've been like these. <laughs> oh, they're, they're the, they've got to be the go-to. They have to be. I mean, mm. uh, let's do the breakdown. Go on. Move five, weapon skill three, ballistic skill three, strength four, toughness five. Yeah. That's a toughness five. Three wounds. 
And then they get the same attacks, two, uh, an additional one on the sergeant, leadership seven, an additional leadership on the sergeant. I'm not going to lie, I forgot they had three wounds. I totally um, forgot. Save characteristic of three. Yeah, yeah. Um, and again, you can pick what weapon you want for this unit. So you can have, uh, I believe, it is the Executioner Bolt Rifle, 42 inches. It's heavy, one shot, uh, strength five, minus two AP, two damage. That's nothing to see knows that. That's it's a that's marine killer, big. isn't it? It's a marine killer. Yeah. Uh, you can have the Heavy Bolt Rifle, which is 36 inches, rapid fire one. Strength five, minus one AP, one damage. I'm going to be honest, you're not really, maybe, you're not really going to be moving these guys. So that's quite a nice one. And then the last one, which I like, probably because it's just the shots off, <clears> is the <throat> heavy on bolt rifle. Yeah. 30 inches, assault three, strength five, no AP. Uh, it's, it's your horde weapon, isn't it? It's, it's your anti horde. Yeah. But again, it, uh, I mean, there's some sometimes you won't know what your opponent is bringing. Um, and then you can pay 10 points, which, I mean, when this first came out on Battlescribe, I was like, you can pay 10 points to upgrade the weapon. Oh, wow. But it would turn out it was just one model can get yeah. this yeah, yeah. Uh, weapon. Then I was like, it's not worth the 10 points, in, in my opinion. So you can pay the 10 points to have one model have the Executioner Heavy Bolter, which is 42 inches, heavy two. Strength five, minus two AP for free damage. Not keen on that one. It's all right. Heavy bolter, heavy three, 36 inches. Strength five, minus one AP for two damage. And mm. then the Hellstorm heavy bolter for 30 inches. Heavy four, strength five, minus uh, uh, zero AP, sorry, for two damage. So I like the, I like the heavy bolter, but I think there's some something in the rules about the heavy bolter. I just have to remind myself. Um, if no model is equipped with a heavy bolter, then you can take the following. Ah, oh, so if you have a heavy bolter, then you can't actually swap out for the Hellstorm bolt rifle or the Executioner bolt rifle. No, yeah, they're linked. They're linked, you see. So if you have the Executioner bolt rifle and you pay the 10 points, you'd have the Executioner heavy bolter, is how I understand it. Okay. So if you get the heavy bolt rifle, you'll end up with a heavy bolter. If you have, if you have the Hellstorm bolt rifle, yeah. you'll end up with a heavy Hellstorm bolt. Um, so I, I quite like the the thirty six inch range ones, the heavy bolt rifle and the heavy bolt are the most, the mid ground one. Yeah, especially if we don't know who you're up against, because it's you know it's yeah, got it's the minus solid. one AP and it's still got um, two yeah. damage with a heavy bolt. Strength five, which is quite quite big. Well, strength they're all they're all strength five, aren't they? Yeah, it's it's that AP. Um, like I said, the heavy is not too bad, forty two inches. It depends if you're going to be moving these a lot. Are you going to sit them back you on an objective? You shouldn't, and just... be. you shouldn't be moving them. Nah, but I mean, the the big thing about these guys are, though, is the toughness by free wounds. Yeah. That's the big thing about these guys. Um, I mean, they're they power, are... level seven, power level seven, 140 points for a five-man unit. Yeah, 20, 28 That's... points each. So it's, it's a good eight points a man each more. So yeah. times up by 10, that's 80 points. Mm -hmm. For 80 points, you can get another four intercessors which have assault three auto bolt rifles, which would be 12 shots. So, uh, no, no AP, and then, but then you're going to go, then this is where it's going to come down to no AP on the shot. Yeah, yeah. Or, then that's what it'll come down to. But then if you pick the bolt rifle, you'll have the minus one AP, but then they're only strength four. So you're weighing up that. Extra there's a lot, there's a lot of balance. Yeah, there's a lot of balance in with these these three units in particular, mm. and it really does depend on who you're up against. Um, they, they, I, I believe the heavy intercessors would be a fantastic fit for the white scars. Yeah, go on. I, I believe so because their tactic is units with this tactic are uh, edge. Eligible to declare a charge in it, not that one. No, that's lightning assault. Yeah, right? Models with this tactic do not suffer the penalty incurred to the hit rolls of fire and assault weapons in the same turn they advanced. Oh, actually, do they actually have an assault? Yeah, the Hellstorm bolt rifle. So if you do need to, if you do need to move these up to a middle ground objective, white scars are quite good with these guys. 
Um, if, in my opinion, I think that they could be pretty good. Mm. Um, same with the Crimson Fists. But now you're talking about going back to that. You're talking about advancing them and firing, but why would you need to advance them? Why, why would you even need to move them? Because uh, you've just sacrificed your assault intercessor. <laughs> 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 yeah. No, yeah, I agree. I, I think I, I do. Again, it comes down to play style. I think it's going to be more. Um, it's going to be, more, gonna be a lot of. The new Dark Angels may probably suit them with their new Grim Resolve and the new. Um, so I'm not, I'm not too familiar with the new rules because I've not. I've still not got my book yet because um, it's stuck in a post somewhere. But I'm pretty okay. sure if they stay stationary, they get like a, a plus one to the hit roll. So these guys would be staying stationary. I'd imagine. So they'll be hitting on twos with whatever weapon you're picking. Which yeah. Is pretty nasty. Especially when you're going like with the, you know, assault, what is it, assault three, if you're going for the Hellstorm bolt rifle. Yeah. I mean, I I picked, when I picked these, I picked the Hellstorm. Mm-hmm. Um, purely, for, purely for the shots. And and I was Necrons, that's why. You, that's right. Yeah, you were Necrons. You slept on my warriors. I, so no, yeah, but that wasn't with these. These, these, was it these not? no, these these moved up and were firing at your um, I think your doomsday arc. It was it was one of your vehicles. Yeah. They didn't do anything, they just stood on an objective and were just shooting. They didn't mm. do damage, any real damage, but you were trying to deal with them, and that toughness five free wounds, it took you a while to chip away. Yeah. So they because they're objective secure, they're kind of hard to get rid of because <clears throat> because of that toughness five three wounds that's and then you think marines have other stronger stuff that they can put in their army that your opponent has got to deal with they have yeah. to deal with, like the dreadnought or uh, a tank that they've got to deal with like an impulsor or repulsor etc yeah have to deal with it while they're not dealing with your intercessors they're earning your points mm-hmm. um yeah and I, I think they're a very very solid, you solid not, are you not concerned like because they're 28 points, they're not far off being Terminate level in terms of points, but there's obviously no in-run save. No. So that's 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 another little issue in the back of my head. I know it, it shouldn't be, but Terminators are like 30 to 40 points, depending on what you do with the loadout and stuff. And like I said, five up in-run minimum. Yeah. Um, Death Guard, I know this isn't Death Guard, but Death Guard, one, they get four plus in-run saves. Um, mm-hmm. Some of these terminates and get storm shields, and but then if you're if we're going down that route, then none of these have an invern. And no, but I just meant in terms of price because yeah, none, oh, of, the, none, yeah, of, these yeah, are, none of these are twenty eight points apart from this one. Yeah. I mean, you pay, in, you, you pay you're paying for a strength five weapon, toughness five, free wounds. Yeah, I mean, no, I, I personally, guess. I I think that's. Worth, worth the trade off for the less in movement. I think, I don't think you'd run a unit of 10, not unless you're playing a big game. Mm, no, we haven't really right. played, we haven't really played a big game. I mean, the biggest game we played is a thousand points. Yeah. Well, you wouldn't take a 10 man. You wouldn't take a 10 man. This is something you'd, like you say, you'd sit back. You've got to deal with these. You've got to sh- get, you've got to shift me off the objective. You've got to, uh, Deal with my other stuff well, they've got, they got combat squads as well so you could take 10 and split them then it's a real issue. exactly real yeah exactly issue. exactly uh, i think they're an s 100 percent. s 100 percent. yeah 100 percent. well let, let me refer you back to you, the reason why the intercessors were not an s because of the fact that they have no close combat weapons okay that's that is True, but I feel intercessors would the regular intercessors would probably get in combat a bit more than these guys. Not, not necessarily. I mean, you could be in, you know, in defending your own objectives because of Terminators deep striking and all sorts mm-hmm. of shenanigans going off where Gene Steel is coming in on turn one. I just, I just, I just think their survivability is is better. Mm. Just they they are definitely one of the top troops. Where do you think they are? An A. Um, do, you, got, do you think they're my, too expensive for what they are? In my notes, I've got them as an exact A. Um, I, in terms of expensive, 
I think they're about right. I'd probably knock them down one or two points because it just it just borders into that terminator price, which is an issue for me. But they are objective secure. No, that's a fair comment. That's they, fair are comment. Obje- they are objective secure. But then again, I keep going back to Dark Angels. I think they're their terminator deathwing have got objective secured now as well. And it's like yeah, what, quite- what else can they have? I mean they've got all sorts. Um so I, I would like to have seen them more like 26, 27 points. I know that's not the biggest of things, but when you talk in like say a unit of 10, it adds up a little bit. Um yeah, exactly, exactly. I'd say an A, but I'm sort of not sure whether they're better than incessors or not. That's my now my my dilemma. From my from my personal experience with them. I would pick heavy intercessors over regular intercessors, even though they're more uh, costly in points. That's just where I am from personal experience. I, I, I would say they're an S. I'm happy to put them in an A, and then we can come back and uh, <laughs> debate about it some more after we get through the others. But I think they're one of the one of the best troop options, 100%. No, I'm, I'm happy to go there for now. I'm happy to do that. Yep. I'm, I'm sort of undecided to be honest. I'm not. No, that's fine. That's what this is about, isn't it? Uh, even though I had intercessors of the nest to start off with, but I, I totally I forgot these guys. Or I forgot these guys have three wounds. I, I literally just like seen it now. I'm like, oh, that makes a big difference. That's, yeah, yeah, that's, that's it... Terminator standard now. Three wounds is huge. All the damage two weapons aren't enough. I like to think the heavy intercessors turned up for Terminator camp and they were going, no, nah, you're not quite good enough. <laughs> <laughs> you can go in the under-21s team for a bit. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Yeah. Okay, okay. so we'll, we'll stick with that for now. We'll go with that. Yeah, so, cool. So halfway, we haven't jumbled anything yet. We're still happy. So whose turn is it now? It's me, isn't it? So infiltrators. Why, <laughs> why smiley? <laughs> Because you, you like you like these things. I like I like infiltrators, and you don't. But um, infiltrators, yeah. So same stats again. Well, no, they're not the same stats. With one less wound, two wounds, not three, as we've just worked out. Um, they've got the strength four stuff again, but it's a marksman bolt carbine. So each time an attack is made with this weapon, an unmodified hit roll of a six automatically wounds. So when you've got a you know a max unit of ten, you can expect one or maybe two of those to auto wound. Um. They've got access to a helix gauntlet, which is once per turn. The first time a saving throw is failed for the bearer's unit, the damage characteristic of the attack is changed to zero. So to me, that's like having like a mini apothecary just like there going, Oop. you're not having that. Um, which is mm-hmm. quite handy, good for durability. Uh, if you don't want that, you could also get the, well, not also, you can instead opt to take the infiltrated comms array. So the bearer's unit is always considered to be in range of the following aura abilities of any friendly Phobus units on the battlefield that have rights of battle or tactical precision. So I'm pretty sure that's either reroll ones to hit or reroll ones to wound. The lieutenant, isn't it? The other one. So yeah, you're going to get more sixes that way as well if you're rerolling ones, because you're always in that aura. And even if you're at the other side of the board, you're in that aura. I mean, I, I personally don't actually like the comms array. I think it was 10 points. And I think it's not it's not worth it. But the Helix Gauntlet I do quite like. Um, they've also got combat squads as normal, but they've got concealed positions, which is you can deep strike, not deep strike, you can deploy anywhere on the table more than nine inches away from your deployment. But the bit that I love the most is the Omni Scrambler, which is enemy units that are set up on the battlefield as reinforcements cannot be set up within 12 inches of this unit, which is, I think that's huge because so many so many factions are deep striking. And it was only the other day we played an online game and we actually messed it up, but we, we forgot about the role, but you had, um, you're playing two units and you had a Morlock. Yep. Who can come in up, you know, it's one inch away. And we totally yeah. forgot this role, but that shouldn't no, yeah, have yeah. been a thing. He shouldn't have been. No, yes, near. that's true. He shouldn't I mean, have been anywhere near me. And um, again, if you're playing like, um, what I'm trying to think of all the other, all the Terminators that are coming in deep striking, and there's all sorts of deep striking units nowadays. So it's a massive bubble, especially when you're combat squadding them. So you're having two bubbles effectively. You're screening yeah. off so much area. I mean, I was I was thinking about this when I come picked up the decks. Mm-hmm. 
Just to just to mention, the comms array is five points and the helix yes. is ten. Oh, it's the other way around. Sorry, I got that. Yeah. 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 Um, <clears throat> with with that combat squad, you could have three. Let's say you have a battalion or, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Have three squads of these guys at ten, like ten man squads. Combat Com squad. Now you got six, and they've got uh, concealed positions as well. Yeah. So you could effectively just have a bubble, <laughs> half mm. the board going. Well, you more got, than half. You, you ain't getting in. You ain't getting in. Yeah. So I, was, I agree. I think that's quite quite a big big thing. I don't think um, I'd um I don't think I'd invest in three. I think the the tournament scene at the moment is sort of taking one one unit. But I, I see your point. Now it is quite a cool little feature you could use screening us. Yes. Yeah. Of the yeah. Exactly. Where where you, where you getting in? That means that means it's keeping your opponent's stuff off the board. So you might if lose. You, you might lose friends doing that. Though. Yeah. You might. You may well, lose well, friends. That's the risk. That's the risk. <laughs> Uh, that's cool. that's cool. No, you, you ain't get. You ain't get. You gonna have to play. You just have to concede. And give oh, I, mem I remember in my in my days when I was younger, I used to do things. We used to, I think it was um, Space Wolves had outflank. Let's come on on the side of the board, and I was playing Chaos at the time, Cultist. So I just had two lines of Cultists going up the board on the sides, and I'm saying, "Come on, then." And yeah, we we, <laughs> we, we fell out for a bit. Um, come at me, bro. I, I'm not gonna do that again. It was a bit dirty, but. So yeah, that that's um... it's a tactic. It's a tactic, in my opinion. In my opinion, it's a tactic. Yeah. So they they, they can shoot reasonably. I'm not saying they're you know the greatest unit of all time. They, they can shoot reasonably. They've got no combat. Um, they got a bolt pistol to shoot in combat. They've still got the two what, wounds. What what saves them on their uh, bolt carbine is that automatic wounding on a six. Mm, I don't think it's that great. That one. It's not bad, but. Um, I quite I quite like little stuff like that. You know what I mean? I mean, no, no, I don't think anybody else has that an automatic wound. Um, they're the only one. They're the only one. They're the only one that's got it. Um, the helix gauntlet, like you say, that's I pretty, like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah. Well, you would. And that, if you look at that as well, that is every turn, once per yeah. turn. So you're saving a guy or a wound once per turn. So even if it's just one wound over the course of, you know, let's just say they're alive for three turns. That could be three models, or it could be three wounds. But either way, it's it's keeping them on the board, which is durability, which if you go exactly. back to the unit we just did, the heavy intercessors with three wounds. Yeah. I'm not saying they've got three wounds by any means, but it's it's a little bit like that. Like, well, the first No, I get, yeah, I get where you're do you know, coming do you know where I'm going with that, right? Yeah, 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 100%, 100%. 100%. So where... All right, let me get my notes. So yeah, these these are actually, the only problem with these. And even though I love these, I've got to, you know, be fair, they're 24 points. They're 20. And I'm going to double check that because that seems really steep all of a sudden. Uh, they're 120 points for a five-man unit. You've worked it out in um, troops, 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 infiltrators. Yeah, 24 points a man. And... So that to me is pricey because it's only four points more and you can get a heavy intercessor. Yeah. Which but is kind they, of these have the anti deep strike. That's the only reason you take them, really, isn't it? That's the only reason. Yeah. And like you say, a lot of people are deep striking at the moment. So that's why I can see why people are picking I think they've, they've put the price up on these to prevent your little strategy you just did having, you know, yeah. loads of them. It's got to be the only reason. So You're not getting on the board. <laughs> that, that's got to degrade them at least one tier, even though I love them. I mean, I, I've written down B, but I would definitely have them above Assault Incessant. Wow, I was expecting you to come in with an S. <laughs> or an A with these guys, I really was. Well, um, to be honest, I wrote B slash A, but... I've remembered how pricey they are, so I've dropped them in my head to be. But they're the second most expensive uh, five-man squad. And yeah. then if you're taking, and if you're taking the uh, Helix uh, Gorn on top of that, that bumps it up another 10 points to 130 points for a five-man unit. Yeah. And if you pay 10 points more, <clears throat> so 20 points effectively, you're getting a heavy intercessor squad 
that has a better toughness. Yeah. So, better but shots. that that anti that anti, and better shots, but that anti deep striking thing is very. That's all they're there for. They're, they're not there to shoot. They're not there to combat. They're not there to do anything. They've also got concealed concealed. This is the first one we come up with concealed positions as well, so they can be put anywhere on the board, but yeah. not as long as they're inches away from um, yeah. an opponent and their deployment zone. Yeah, which is which is quite nice, it's quite handy um, to hide them at the board. Get it's, them not out. Just, it's not just to hide them as well. Like I was doing a review earlier of Mephiston from the the Blood Angels um, Chief Librarian, mm-hmm. and he's got movement seven. But you can cast Wings of Sanguinius on himself to give him yeah. fly and 12 inch more movement in the psychic phase. So effectively, he can move 19 inch. Now, if he's That's doing massive. that, doing that on his own is quite dangerous, isn't it? Mm. Especially turn one when you've got no support. You haven't got terminates flying in turn one. Whereas yeah. someone, something like an infiltrator squad that's already up there because of concealed positions could put him back into the lookout, sir. Uh, Bit of support. Oh, Bit of support basically, yeah, yeah. so he's not getting shot. You can do it with an Invicta war suit as well, but um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's another reason why these guys are good. It's sort of the next level for when your guys come up. If that makes sense, yeah, yeah. I mean, I've I use these, I picked these a uh, few times when I first started with Raven Guard. Um, I mean, they fit, they fit hiding. Oh, yeah. I get the, the plus to the save and throw and all that jazz, and then obviously it all changed. Um, I think I, I think they're quite good. I think they're quite good. I think I think I think. What would you say? Would you take these over intercessors? What basic intercessors? Standard yeah. ones. Yeah. I would. I wouldn't take them over. I would take both. In fact, right down there, right now, I've got a box of intercessors unopened and a box of infiltrators unopened. <laughs> That's how I'd take them. I'd take. One of each, break one into two for a defensive yeah. bubble, and then my intercessors are the ones actually doing the work, doing the grind. Yeah, mm. um, possibly heavy intercessors, but there's no models for that. I don't think yet. So no, I can't buy them. So these are another one that are in between the A B category. I think um, again, you might have people in your comments going, "No, you must take these. These are the these are gospel." <laughs> fine, it's fine. I mean. Um, I'm I'm personally thinking to go like that. That's Ooh, where I stand. If you're doing that, you need to drop them assault is in successes down a, a grade. If you really, do. wait yeah. a minute. So you you'd say they're up there? Well, they can't be up there. Well, I did say the heavy intercessors. <laughs> <laughs> yes, to be fair, um, that no way are they on par with assault intercessors. Well, you... th- this is like on par, but in front of. Th- these are like in order as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so one, two, three, and four, basically. Yeah, yeah. At the moment, yeah. But oh no, because they are still intercessors at the end. Of... Let me let me have another. They are still intercessors. No, you know what? You're right. You're right. I think no, you're dropping. No, you're right. Drop them. We'll drop them. Yeah. Think we'll drop them. I can't. I can't like defend them. They've got an extra attack. No. That's it. But you can go into any random chapter and get an extra attack. Yeah, exactly. You can go to any like I don't know a chat thing can give you a plus one to it. There's, there's all sorts of ways to do stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm good with that. You good with yeah, that? Yeah, I think I think I'm I think I'm happy with that. Now we're we're moving. Okay. We'll go for your ones next. I know you like these guys. I I, I love these guys. The I incursors. Like cost effective. The incursor squad. Oh, a yeah. they. I think they're great. I, I really do think they're great. So we'll go over the stat line. Uh, six inches of movement. It's basically the same, isn't it? It's the same. Yeah, ballistic skill three, strength four, toughness four, two wounds apiece, two attacks, one against the sergeant, leadership seven, one on the sergeant, three up save. Uh, they come equipped with a bolt pistol. Okay. Uh, uh, 12 inches, uh, strength four, no AP, one damage. Yeah. Oculus bolt carbine, 24 inches, rapid fire one, strength four, no AP, uh, one damage. But each time an attack is made with this weapon, the target does not receive the benefits of cover against that attack. Huge. I think that's big, but we'll come back to that in a second. Yeah. Here's, here's the kicker for me. This is where they go slightly up. 
they get combat blades. All right, it's mm. not a lot. It's only the user, but it's minus one AP and one damage. And even yes. when the shock assault, a shock assault, mm -hmm. they're getting in and doing a bit more damage than a regular uh, infiltrators are doing, the intercessors and heavy intercessors, if they are getting into combat. Yeah. Um, and also, they can have a haywire mine. Now, I really like this. I, I quite, I quite, I quite like this as a uh, as a deterrent to keep uh, to keep your opponent off the objective. Like, I'm going to go over this objective. I'm going to place a mine. Um, so once per battle, when an enemy unit finishes a charge move within engagement range of the bearer's unit, the bearer can use its haywire mine. If it does, roll one d6 on a two plus. That enemy unit suffers d3 mortal wounds if it has the vehicle keyword it suffers three mortal wounds instead uh we recommend and it just says about recommending yeah. play hey, well, yeah, I, I don't i don't rate that that highly and it's no that is it expensive as well isn't it it's like 10 15 points probably 10 points 10 points like the helix corner yeah it's 10 points i just think it's like i may be wrong it's, here but it's like mine kind of it's just the d3 and then but it's only once per battle that's the problem. Yeah, so I, I get that because you're only equipping it once. But before, I, I think before this came out, this codex, no, it couldn't have been. I think uh, my source from Battle Scribe is wrong because the way I understood it, you had to travel over the. Um, they've gone down mm -hmm. now. <laughs> yeah, you had to go. The, the way it was worded was you had to go over the objective and then you could drop the mine there and then you could bugger off. Now this is all this is that's an engagement thought, range. Yeah, that's why I thought because it go it went well with um Raven Guard's mine ability on an objective as well. They can go around just plop in the same sort of thing. Okay. For, for, as a stratagem. So I think that equips quite well. That's kind of gone down in my estimations. So the, the paired um, the paired combat blades is it's pretty much an Astardi's chainsaw, except it's not giving you an extra Got, attack. So yeah. they attack almost as well as, uh, I'm not saying as good, but almost as good as the, why am I going that way? As good as the Assault Intercessors, but they can still shoot at 20 inch range with rapid fire. Yeah. Without the benefits uh, of cover. Um, they also have, obviously, the Angels of Death, Combat Squads, Concealed yeah. same as Infiltrators, so they could be anywhere on the board. But no one but found them. The key ability they have is that multi-spectrum array. Each time a model in this unit makes a ranged attack, you ignore any or all hit roll and ballistic skill modifiers. Okay, you can't buff them. No, it you says you can you can ignore you can ignore, which means you can. You got the choice of ignoring it. Oh, you said okay. All right, okay. That's uh, dyslexia. Great. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's fun. Oh, that's fun then. So you can buff them. But my my argument was when you put in them and get with the others. You don't need to. You can let them do what they want. Let them run around the board, causing mayhem, drop a mine, whatever. Come at me kind of thing. But that, that ignore the ballistic seal modifier. When you need to get at something and you're not quite got quite the right line of sight, but you can see them through the terrain, normally that'd be a minus what to hit. Yeah. Not with these guys. Not with these mm -hmm. guys. So you can have guys in a ruin, up by the windows, up a level, shooting normal, and mm -hmm. then you get but to the save, not with these guys. These guys still hit on threes through that window and you don't get the benefit of cover. I think that is quite, I think that is quite big. Oh, so it's, quite... it's both light cover and um, dense cover, right? So it's all cover. Yeah. You, you yeah, don't... that's only just like twig that you can, the plus one yeah, to their you... save doesn't come either. Yep, you don't get the plus two save and throw and I don't get a penalty for shooting at you. But not obscure into rain, obviously, that's something... No, no, yeah, because you don't different you get the line of sight. That's, yeah, you won't get the line of sight. So it's just cover. Yeah, yeah. So that's, that's yes. actually... Um... I think that's massive. In, in my opinion, in, in, like I said, I haven't played any older editions. I've only played ninth. Mm -hmm. And how terrain is, mm -hmm. from what I've seen on um, battle reports and everything... And oh, terrain used to be weird. Terrain, so always mass weird. terrain is massive. Terrain is yeah. massive. I was watching one guy go, oh, I'm not quite in the terrain feature, so all my weapons are minus... And I'll force to hit, and it cost him wiping out a, a, a key unit that ended up hurting him back. Mm -hmm. And he said, he said he, he only had to, he didn't have the movement to get into the terrain feature to not have the penalty. 
not with these guys. These guys, they, I, th- I think they are so good. And they're only 105 points for five men. They are 21 points, so they're oh. cheaper than the Infiltrators. Now, I have done their, their review already on our channel, and I gave them a 3.5. The same as the Infiltrators, actually. So they've, got, they've both got the same score. Um, even though they've got the concealed positions, they don't have the Omni Scrambler, which is a 12-inch deny. It's only a nine yep. inch standard, which is still yeah, yeah, good. Yeah. Um, it's still good. These guys can shoot better than infiltrators. They can fight better than infiltrators. Yep. They're, they're sort of the jack of all trades, is the way I worded it. They're not as good as yeah. intercessors yeah, yeah. in terms of shooting. They're not as good as assault intercessors in terms of fighting. And they haven't got the big deny range like an infiltrator, but they can do all three. Yeah. That's what they're, makes them good. They're, they're, they're definitely a troop option that you can do anything with. They're versatile. They can adapt. They can adapt to the situation of how the game is going mm-hmm. better than I would anyway. say all, tri- yeah. all, the, all the other troop units. Hundred percent. They're very adaptable. I, I, I think they're great. And that's without I, even adding a chapter. Obviously, we, we always keep saying exactly. that. But not not even on. not e- this is even without you putting chapter stuff on these guys. Yeah. Um, I really, really like them. Really like them as a troop option. Object secure as well. Um, so where where would you put them on this um, on this five? I'm, bi- I'm biased. I'm biased because I love I love this unit. This bar heavy intercessors. These are my go to unit. So you're like up here. You're like yeah. SA. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm SA SA with these guys. Oh wow. This is before we've even you've even buffed them with a lieutenant or a, or a chaplain. I know you can do that with the others as well. And this we we didn't even bring up any chapter tactics for these guys. We didn't also know? bring up and the then, fact that they're Phobos. Both the last this one and the last one got Phobos and smokescreen. And they've both got the smokescreen keyword, yeah. So that interacts with the stratagem for a minus one to hit them. Is it? Do you know what I mean? I think I think they're so good. They're so good. I think they're reliable. They get yeah, the job. I, I would have to do. personally. I would do that. Oh no, I've done that wrong. Why can't I change it? There you go. I, I would do that personally. I agree. I think a curse is uh, be- Even though I love infiltrators, I can understand why incursors better. Just the versatility. But when you're talking about intercessors with the, you know, all the different weaponry they can choose from. Especially the, you know, I'd the, say, I'd say it's, I'd say it's very close with them two as well. I, I'm very, very close with within intercessors and incursors. You got to look at when you do your list. Are you going to because intercessors can't, I don't have concealed positions. Do I need my incursors to be a bit higher up the board? Do I need them here? Do I need them to charge? Maybe this that's turn? why I have, intercessors can't do that. That's why I want to run both. Yeah, one, but, one lot of like concealed position units, and then one lot of yeah. whether it's heavies or intercessors. To me, they're like then even though they're all troops, they've got completely different roles. Yeah, I, I, me personally, I'd, I'd pick <clears throat> incursors as my. I'd pick incursors and heavy intercessors if I was doing a list now. Yeah, or maybe maybe intercessors. Yeah, I'd I'd, I'd pick incursors over infiltrators. And I'd probably, like I said, I'm a bit biased because I, I really like these. I'd probably pick incursors over intercessors. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. I, I'd pick these. Just, two just because, two. just be, just just for their reliability of shooting. Mm-hmm. Just reliable. You can just let them do do what they need to do. See, they I don't, personally don't think that's the biggest. I don't think that's the biggest problem because you're talking about the um, multi spectrum array, yeah. So they don't. Yeah. They ignore the hits. So if they your I don't know, any other faction, and you've got, say, a psychic ability that gives minus one to hit, or um, or some sort of, any sort of power you can do where it's a minus one to hit, are you going to go aiming it at the incursor squad, or are you going to go aiming it at, like, a eradicator squad, a hell blaster squad? What, why would you uh, go for them? No, that's a fair, that's a fair comment. Um, you wouldn't, because the, the shooting isn't exactly... Um, mate, it's not an yeah, they're not shooting. hitting. They're not hitting on twos, but I, I think I think they're good for getting off units that are in terrain as well. But, you know, like in a ruin or on a thing that they go, "Ah, I'm in cover." Well, yeah. nah, my 
are going to get rid of you. Fair point. And it's going to make it's going to make other people think how they play when they go. Well, these guys could just even if I'm hiding, if they can see me, if there's no penalty, so it's, they go. What's the point? The only faction I wouldn't use them in is Imperial Fists, due to the fact that Imperial Fists already get the ignore to uh, save and throws. Ability. Yeah, good point. Yeah, that's that's probably the only that's probably the only chapter I probably wouldn't use them in. So you you have to put this B then. I yeah. am, but I don't know. If you are. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at that now. I'm in between A and B. They're very close to B and A for me personally. So a tactical squad. These yeah. are the the firstborn Marines. These are the old school stuff. So you won't know these because you're you're a ninth edition guy, aren't you? Yeah. So yeah, I've been playing these guys for donkey's years, as we say. These were the like. The only option you had, I think scouts were an option as well, but they were just rubbish. Um, so these were your go-to foundation of your army, was your tactical squad. Um, what's good about them is they've now gone up to two wounds to match up with everything else. But you can get a heavy weapon in there, as well as a special weapon on a max unit, which is quite um, handy because that's access to like a LAS cannon, um, a missile launcher, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, there's all sorts of different things. So what I quite like about them is the fact that you're you're hiding a heavy weapon in a unit of tactical, uh, yeah, of tactical marines that are objective secured. You obviously, if if you lose a few models, you're not going to take off your last cannon, for example. You're gonna it's going to take no. you know another eight wounds to get there or whatever it is. Well, not eight times two, sixteen. Yeah. Um, the other reason why they're good is they can go in rhinos, they can go in drop pods, they can go in razorbacks, the non Tremeris vehicles, which, again, used to be a huge thing, not as much now, because there's the Impulsor, and then there's all sorts of other ways of doing stuff. But that mm-hmm. used to be the thing, drop pod them in, run them out, or rhino up, you know, for, secu- for safety, tie them out so they get the flamers out. Um, the sergeant has access to... Any melee weapon, such so power fists, power swords, all that jazz. Um, something you may not have actually thought about is the stratagems. There's three stratagems in the book that you probably keep skimming over because you go, oh, I don't have access to that. So I'll go through them quickly. One of them is the melter bomb stratagem because they have got the melter bomb keyword. So use this stratagem in the fight phase. Uh, Select one model in the unit. That model can make one and only one attack this phase, and it must attack a vehicle. And if a hit is scored, the vehicle will suffer two D3 mortal wounds. For one stratagem. That's one stratagem. One CP. One CP. One CP. So that's one stratagem. They've got Hellfire Shot. So if you opted to take the heavy bolt, uh, heavy bolter, which is quite a decent weapon in ninth edition. Um, again, you can make one and only one attack in the shooting phase. If you score a hit, the, the target will suffer D3 mortal wounds. And if it's a monster, it's three instead of D3. So it's just like all these little stratagems are just doing. Is that one CP as well? Yeah. And if you didn't take a heavy bolter, maybe you took a missile launcher. And this one is in the shooting phase when you're targeting an aircraft unit with a missile launcher, you can make one and one attack only. You add one to the attack's hit rolls, and if you hit, the target suffers two D3 mortal wounds. So it's they've got access to those three stratagems in particular. Yeah, that's that's not bad. For mortal wound output from they troops. Are, yeah, they're just there's they're still troops, they're still wounds too. They've got all the same stats as the others. They've got bolt guns, which are almost the same as the other guys. Slightly less attacks though, Darwin. They've got sorry, yeah, you're right. There is one less attack. Compared to the uh, the Primera stuff, mm. um, but they're a lot cheaper. They are only, I think they're eighteen points or sixteen points. Double yeah. check. I think they're eighteen points. Tactical squad eighteen points. Obviously, you've got to pay for any upgrades, but those upgrades are always worth it. Um, so, like if you've got say a Melter in there or um, a Flamer, and you're picking say Salamanders. They've got all sorts of buffs to melters and, and flamers. Yeah. So it is a bit chapter 
you know, driven. I, th- I think all of them are. Yeah. Really. When you really get down to the nitty gritty, it's course, just yeah. specific. Um, I don't think I'd ever use them. You know, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I don't think I would either. I, I don't purely because I don't they're firstborn. I think it's, I think there's no. I don't have the been will overused. To, yeah, <laughs> these guys have been there for years, and when you've got these larger Primaris models that you know intercessors, then these guys are just sort of. Where I mean, they? The, the, go on. The, the stra- sorry, so I don't mean to. Uh, but uh, the stratagems are nice and all. Mm. You'd rather be spending that CP on other stuff. Yeah. Really. <clears throat> See, I, I, I've done the contradiction in the past where I've done the um, the Outriders review, and I've basically argued that. The normal old school bikes are just as good because they're cheaper and you can get more of them and then they make up for the attacks. They have you know, mm. they have less attacks. So they make up with it, plus they got more wounds and they can shoot just as well. But when I went and made my order last month, what did I order? Did I order bikes? No, I ordered outriders. Outriders. <laughs> because they're the, they're the new shiny model and they're not the old model because old models eventually just get left behind. And the new models yeah. always come to the surface. And it's the same with these tactical guys like Eugenio, who's done the other tier list for the next ones. He, he painted up um, a Space Wolves army a few years back, or quite a few years back now. And he's quite a slow painter. He's a very good painter, but he's very slow. And it took him, God knows, like a year to get like three squads done. And just as he'd finished, three squads of Space Wolves, you know, like, they were like the tactical squads. They went and brought out all the Primera stuff, and he was just like, "What? I've just done all these like firstborn Marines, and they brought out all this stuff. It might have actually been Grey Hunters. I'm not sure now, but you know, when they've got yeah. the all the Primera stuff out, he was just like, "I'm not doing it." He was just stubborn. He's like, "I'm not changing to Primera. I'm sticking." And eventually, he wasn't competitive enough. This is pre Ninth Edition, by the way. So yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Didn't, they didn't have two wounds and all that. So he, he packed the Marines in, and he went off to do Elder and uh, he's now thinking of custodies but yeah so old models just there's no appeal I, i'm gonna be honest with you right i'd rather use assault intercessors <laughs> yeah i think i'd, I, rather, I'd rather i'd rather pick assault intercessors no, i would i would i'll just look at these they're just they're just they don't like see they don't have that appeal for Factor where the other four do the other the other four bar assault incident they they do. Do you know what they should have done? They should have kept them at one wound and made them a lot cheaper, so that they had a don't use. like dirt cheap. Yeah, like they used to be like I don't know twelve points. Just make them dirt cheap. One wound, little bods. You know we've evolved now. We're we're now Primaris Marines, and they would have had a use. Kind of like you know scarabs and the Necrons. They're, they're only little bods that don't do much, but they score your points. Yeah. It's like the same sort of principle. They would have had a use then, but now they've just sort of... But if, if you're wanting like a LAS cannon or, you know, there's Devastators that do that sort of stuff. There's there's all sorts of units, Hell Blasters with the big plasma weapons. And yeah, you don't yeah need heavy, to, heavy. You don't need to stick one heavy weapon in a group of 10. Because you're paying the tax on that, 180 points for 10. Yeah. But then, and then you've got to think about that. If you're moving these guys... You've then got a, now a minus for moving that heavy guy, right? That's the heavy, yeah. But you could, yeah, so you could so also you've paid them. you've paid yeah. for that last cannon, and like I said, with with all the others, it's all about adaptability. <clears throat> you need to move. Ah, I can't mm. move because otherwise, now I'm hitting on fours. But you could you say use the use the rhino. You can use the rhino yeah. with the drop pod, and instead of having the heavy stuff, have the special one, so the melters. And the captain can also take a combi melter or a combi whatever. So you effectively have okay, a couple two. of yeah. So they pop out of a rhino, double melters, or double flamer, or whatever you know the flavor is. But again, terminators could do that kind of stuff. Yeah, and more reliably as well. And tougher. So to me, they they've become a redundant unit, and I can only see like D. That's all I can see. I try to fight them, mm. but I can't see anything more than D. <laughs> I, I, I can't, yeah, I can't, I agree. I can't, I can't give them the oomph 
There's no there's no wow factor with them. Only the points cost. That's it. There's nothing appealing. But it's only it's only one point less than an assault intercessor or two points less than a regular intercessor. And three points. Intercessors. Three points less than an incursor. You know what I mean? It's uh, again it all comes down to um preference play style, as we keep saying, chapter tactic. And I'd love to know what your uh viewers think of these guys. Oh, they they will let me they will let us know. I think they're poo. (laughs) D. Actually, can you make an E column? (laughs) Put in there. Uh, Yeah, I can't do that now. Yeah, they're 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 definitely definitely a D. D. So is, is there any switcheroos in? But we, we, we're saying they're D. We're pretty sure. So I think you, I've I've got to try and fight for fellow Marines players that are probably going to come swarm into the comments. I hope so. I hope so. They might just go, "What's this guy on about? He he hasn't got a clue." Heavy intercessors have got to be the, the chief unit. Well, they are. They are like they're top, they're, they're top of A. They're top of A. They're ahead of the intercessors in the A group. Oh. I, th- I think you should bump them up to that S for special heavy intercessors. Yeah, how, mu- how much are you going to pay me on the side for that? <laughs> I, can't, I, can't, I can't do that. Um, I feel like I'm in like, you know, like when you're in a market store and you're like trying to bark with someone. Haggling. 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 Yeah, Haggling. 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 Off of right. if, you, if, you, if you give me the S, I'll let you move infiltrators over. How about that? <laughs> so what? No, if, you're, if you're happy with that. No, I... If you're happy, I, I I don't think if you're happy with that, that's fine. If if you're happy with that grading, that's cool. I in my opinion, yeah, you you can do that. I, 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 in my opinion, I think heavy should go up to S, and then intercessors as an A, and then See, something the other to, two. Something else to think about, right? So you're paying whatever you're paying for those heavy guys, twenty eight points a man, mm-hmm. and now obviously it depends on how big the game is like if you're playing if you're playing a 500 point game small game or 750 or even a thousand it's quite a, a chunk of your 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 army list yes which obviously everything's a chunk but yes when you're that's, trying to get more units yeah you're trying to uh, get as much on the board or you're going for the one big thing like you know the big guy like you yeah. have to do your blood versus and just smash everything yeah. Um, whereas these guys sort of don't leave much room for everything no. they want. But I mean, you you pick a heavy intercessor unit, right? In a five hundred point game, and then you get a librarian that can put, I believe they can put an invent on them, right? Yeah. Yeah. So there's your HQ, and there's your troop option, and then you can, and then then, and then you've got other uh, options in your elite or heavy for a vehicle or whatever to do. Who, I mean, they can shoot as well, and if you put in an invern on them, they're even harder. To I, I actually, I should have said this when we did it. I, I, I actually gave them a four out of five when I did the review, which is exactly where they are now. Is that is that the high high? Oh, okay, what did you give intercessors? Oh, I, I, I haven't done intercessors yet, or assault intercessors, or the tactical. I've only done the heavy, and then the other two the illustrators <laughs> and the incursors were three point five. I think I think your review for tactical squad would be, don't pick them. Video yes. does again. If, if, if like you say in a five hundred point game, I, I still probably would pick them because I think you'd, you'd get your bang for your buck out of them, especially if you're giving them heavy weapons right in the first do- devastator doctrine. This is without a chapter as well, by the way. Mm-hmm. Um, I, you could put them in imperial fist, for example. You don't get you don't get covered to your saving throws. Uh, I'm at 42 inches away, minus three from the Devastator Octave, minus three AP, two wounds. Yeah. Ten, ten shots at you. That could be potentially what you're playing against. Your unit could be gone before you've even moved. I think, to be I fair, think you know what? I can fair, go with it. And the, reason, the reason why I can go with it is, at the end of the day, this tier list, we're comparing troop units with troop units. We're comparing them with each other at the end of the day. Something is supposed to be the best. Something is supposed to yeah. be the worst. So even though we didn't actually intend that from the beginning, it's kind of worked out that way. Like we're not comparing it to other units such as scouts and you know and centurions and whatnot. We're no, no, purely no. going troops versus troops within one book. So yeah, and 
this is the thing you see it's it's tactical squad don't get nothing done in my don't get nothing done i can see where assault intercessors can be viable but it's very niche 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 niche, niche. very niche it's a very niche thing it's like well i've got you got other stuff to do that so you wouldn't really pick them but i can see why people would yeah cursors and infiltrators they're your bread and butter they're your bread they're your bread and butter they're, i think they're your go-to units or your concealed Go to units. One of them. Yeah, one of them. You wouldn't pick both. You'd pick one or the other, wouldn't you? Uh, maybe. I mean, maybe you could pick your infiltrators as the anti deep strike unit sitting back. And oh, that's what I would do. Moving up the board. But then you have your intercessors again, another bread and butter. But then you pay more cost for the heavy intercessors saying, you've got to deal with me. You've got to shift me off this objective. We'll go with that. So we're going with that. Yeah, we're going to stick. I'm, you're the boss, mate. <laughs> you're so, you're so the boss. We will, I think we'll leave it there, then. I think we'll leave it there. So, yeah. So, thanks for joining us, um, Aaron. It's been um, a pleasure doing a tier list with you. Thank you very much for having me. And we'll, 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 hopefully, we'll do some more of these because they've, they've been quite fun. Um, yes, yeah, it's, it's been uh, nice to debate about it. Yeah, okay, let's, let's see if we get some comments for you. Um, yeah, we'll I'd, I'd, 100%, because I can, I can jump in on the comments as well. I 100% want to know what your guys chapters are what you would use and also how you would use them to give me some tips to be to be to be in there all right so we're gonna we're gonna wrap that up there so if you are new to the channel then just remember to subscribe below and hit the like button on the way out if you think that the video has been useful or entertaining and yeah so thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next one